okay so here the start point is node s and the goal is node g so we have to reach from this node s to node g and what strategy we are going to use which search strategy we are going to use is the depth first search right and what we have been asked that what are the order of state expanded which order and what will be the path return to reach from s to g right okay so let me uh, tell you about first of all this first uh, depth first search so what we do is uh, we will have some node so uh, so we will have some node here or some node here or maybe some node further here or maybe here or maybe here right so so the main goal is to select the fringe that we are going to expand and let me first of all tell you that what is fringe so fringe is a node that are supposed to expand in the further expansion so in this if you look at in this tree we have these nodes are at the fringe right so these nodes are the possible node that are that may get expanded into the uh, that may get expanded for uh, in further action right so so which node is going to expand that depends on the strategy what strategy you are working on so we are working on with the depth first, first search and we are we are at the situation where we have these three nodes are at the possible fringe right so what does depth first first search strategy tells that expand that node in the fringe which have the highest depth right so if you look at this 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 have this node so we have this fringe this is the fringe right and in this fringe this node has this much of depth and this fringe have this much of depth and this fringe right? this node has this much of depth so out of all these three node this one has the highest depth so in next step we will we are going to expand this node right so this is how we are going to proceed okay now let's let's and one more thing let me give you one more situation let's suppose that you are you have at this situation where all the nodes are at the same depth right then how you how you how you are going to make uh that which uh, uh, make decision that which node is going to expand further so all these nodes are the fringe they are supposed to be explored in the next uh, next action right so so this there is a tie break right because all of these fringe all of these nodes are at the same depth right so this tie break rule will be given in the question in this question what we are assuming in case of tie that let's suppose that from a start let's suppose that this was is a this is c this is d this is maybe b so 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 which node we are going to action so s to a s to c and s to d and s to b right so the tie break rule is if tie happens then you are going to select those that which uh so here you see that a is so you will have to select according to the how you write the a alpha bits a b c d up to z so a is coming first so out of these all four we will we are going to select this s a right so this is the tie break rule whenever tie will happen then we are going to select path according to the uh, that alphabetical order right okay now this completes our question and the explanation now we let's answer this question that what are the order of state possible and uh, what are the path we are going to return if we have this strategy 
to reach from h to g right so at the first time we will be at s and this s will be in the fringe right and nothing else right now in next step what we are going to do that uh, so this s is the only node and this is at the you can say at this time it is the it is at the highest depth right now we are going to further explore the successor of this s right so the so we will pop this up and we will uh, put it here in the closed set and now after popping up this we will push all the successor of this s so all the successor of this s is h to a h to b and h to d these are all the successor of this s so we are going to put h to a h to b and h to d right now all these are at depth one right so let me write it down somewhere here so all these are at depth is equals to one right so now we have time right now you will have to make the decision which you are going to select because all these are all these fringes are at the uh, same depth right so according to our rule tie break rule what we are going to select is h to a right so we will pop it up and we will write down a here and now after popping it up what we are going to do we are going to further explore all the successor of this s a all the successor of this s a right so all the successor of this s a is s a c right and and nothing else right so we are going to write the successor of this that is s a uh, c right now you see that this one is at depth 2 right and these two are still at depth 1 and these this one is at depth 2 right so these are the fringe nodes as at, at this time then according to our strategy which node you are going to pick obviously the which one which one have the highest depth because we are looking uh, we are we have the strategy in that is depth first search so we will pick this up and we will pop it up and we will write c here right and after popping it up what we are going to do we are going to push all the successor of s a c all the successor of s a c will be s a c g s a c d and 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 anything else no so we are going to write uh, push these two so push these two so s a c g and s a c d right so this and now this will be at depth is equal to 3 all right okay now now you see that again you will look the fringe so these are our fringe that needs to be explored in further step further action right and this these two are at depth one so there is no need to pick because our strategy is depth first first word. so we are going to pick at which have the highest depth so these two have the highest depth but you see which which node you are going to pick that depends because we are in the tie condition we can pick this one or this one so we will look at that that what is our tie break rule so our according to our tie break rule um, uh, d came earlier than g so we are going to pick this and we are going to pop it up and here we will write d in the closed set 
and now we are going to further push the successor of this node right so the the further successor of this s a and c and d would be from d we can go here g and from um, b right we we are not going to take this s because s is already uh, in the closed set right so from here this would be a possible right so here what we are going to post is s a c d and from d to g that is one and from s a c d and d to b right and this will be at depth four right again since we are using the depth first strategy these are your fringe right and which fringe you are going to pick up the fringe which the node which are at the highest depth so these are at two at the highest depth again we will look at the uh, so the tie has happened now we will look at the tie break rule and according to tie break rule we are going to pick this so we are going to pop up this and we are going to write b here right and after popping it up we are going to further explore the uh, explore the successor of this right so from s to a to c to d to p right and from here if we will write s so s is already in the closed set right so so we are going to ignore that so we are left with nothing right so now we will pick we will post this one right this one so so again we will look at this so at this time we have got our this goal g right so our expanded state will be question uh, answer to your first question expanded states will be on uh, this closed set from s a c d b and uh, b to g so, so ultimately we are going to pop it, pop this up and here we will have g right so this and what will the path return so answer to your second question the path return will be uh, this one so s to a a to c c to d and d to g okay that was the first source we will similarly look at the same problem with the different strategy that is breadth first search thank you